Greetings, this is Frosty Thundershot, and welcome back to Sword Haven Trial. Trying to train myself to actually get my mouth to say what I'm reading and what I'm thinking. I don't know why, but it seems to be a huge problem that what I read and what I think isn't what my mouth says, so. You can count on me. If I ever hope to do anything with this, um type of video I need to be able to get that more in line you know not that I really have any ex expectations I mostly just do this because of the fact that uh, nobody around me in my real life is interested in the type of games that I am so I just uh, post them on YouTube instead right now I'm supposed to clear out some rats down in this farm area let's do it Fifty one, thirty seven. I'm going to sit and wait for him to come to me. Really, he dodged. Yeah, adding those darts was a good idea, I think. <laughs> Gonna manage to kill him before that summoning ally thing went through, I guess. Let's see. Dagger Fang Tail and Dagger Fang Fangs. and meat. I got one of my copper darts back. Time for exploration. The road is calling.
Let's see what's out there. Oh, this thing's a long ways away. I'll wait here while they come to me. These things are annoying. So luckily I do have some bandages, so yes. Yeah, definitely gotta make sure that they come to me and use up all their movement points and then take them out quickly.
There's some more right there. Have company. The road is calling. Well, these dagger fangs really aren't that strong. I can see what he means. They they're too much for, you know, someone who's not trained to fight to handle. Have company. There's five of them this time. Back up ten. That's exactly what I wanted. It ran over to me and was out of action points. Six. Hmm. All right. Should be able to take both of these out right here. Good. Here comes two more. Really just one. It's going to put me in a bad position now. Oh, thank goodness. Three. Eleven. Updated my journal, so I'm guessing that this is done. You can count on me. Just better cover the entire area just to make sure.
I've been picking up all these plants and I have a mortar and pestle, but I have no idea how to actually use it. I might be wandering too far away right now. Because I'm supposed to be clearing out dagger fangs on the farm, so it looks like I'm getting too far away from the farm. Oh, there's some more right there. No problem. I don't know why they're not grossing on me, but... Time for exploration. The road is calling. Let's see what's out there. Where'd my farmer dude go? Well, since we're both pretty well beat up, I think I'm gonna go to the end and try to rest. Count on me. Let's do it.
don't see any signs, but maybe this building here is the no end. Looks like it. For exploration. Now then, we got... What can I get you? Food, drink, lodging for a night? We have some chewing leaves from the Empire if you partake. Just say the word. Yawn. I'd like to rent a room. For a modest price of 10 dinars, you'll not only get a comfortable, cushy stuff with the finest hay around, but also a free meal, or the world-famous uh, Nova uh, Draconian Clam Chowder. What do you say? Sounds good. Here's the coins. Let me show you the way. Good. The road is calling. I wanted to ask if any of the villagers have been acting weird lately. Strange, huh? No, nothing comes to mind. Attention. There's something else the innkeeper knows but doesn't want to give him up. Please don't hold back if you have any information. Drubble smacks his lips and gives you a long look. I might know a thing or two, but sharing such knowledge would be, um, dishonorable. Let me think about your honor after you tell me what you've learned. Hold your hopes. I have nothing to I have something to ask first. The request might sound bizarre, but trust me. It's for the benefit of everybody involved. Me and an associate may need to attend a special meeting, but there's a catch. I need to get this pal of mine drunk, real drunk. Blackout under the table, struggle to remember his own name drunk. Then I want you to replace him. Think you can handle it? Uh... This is giving me bad, bad vibes. How is this to everyone's benefit? This fellow is getting long in the tooth, but I can't, but I, kind soul that I am, just can't bring myself to tell him straight. But if he gets trashed and you replace him, nobody's pride will be hurt and the meeting will go much smoothly. It's a win-win for everybody. What do you want me to do at this meeting? Same thing my partner does. Look intimidating and occasionally help my negotiations with a bloodthirsty stare here and an angry grunt there. Yeah, I don't think I'm good at intimidation. No, consider your request. Maybe later. I'll, let's change subjects for now. As you wish. How about I fix you something to nosh on? No, thank you. Let's see what's out there. Here's Fiona again. How do you like this place? It could be worse. Can you imagine? They don't accept songs as trade. I hate to sound like an old woman, but is this world headed when an inn rejects entertainment? Care to join me once more then? Oh, I'd love that. But that humble meal I purchased left my coin purse a tad light. I need to get to Swordhaven post haste. Unless there's some job that could help you with. For a modest cut of the proceeds, of course. I might need your help with something. 
I'll tell her about the nearby barbarian camp. Sounds dangerous, but also exciting. Very well, I'm in. Lead the way. You can count on me. Hmm. Let's do it. Temple grounds, huh? I'm not sure how many party members you're actually allowed to have. Let's see, do I have any... That's an arrow. No, I don't have any bolts to give her. Time for action. Alright. At least the pathfinding found its way over here by Time itself. For exploration. A lean, straight-backed man in a traveling cloak walks towards you, leading his horse by the reins. Intellect check. The horse is the West Vitamillion breed, swift and vigorous, and surprisingly agile, despite its plain-as-dirt appearance. Such animals are highly sought after by couriers, cavaliers, mercenaries, and everyone else who spends a lot of time on the road. Well, I'll greet him. Good day to you. Greetings, Sarah. I hope the war the road is treating you well. He speaks with a slight hard to pinpoint accents. Indeed it is, thank the dragon. A pleasure to hear that. I'd be careful out there nonetheless. A pack of hungry wolves roams the area just past their spread, you see. It's only thanks to Cinnamon, he strokes the mare's mane, that escaped their slavering maws. Yet the grey ruffian got away, got awfully close when I stopped to let her drink from the river. So I'd look for another route if I were you. Actually, I'm coming to kill those webs, so they're not a problem. I have to admit, I respect your gumption. Where are you heading? I'm looking for someone, an old friend. He was supposed to visit us in Swordhaven, but never showed. Do you need any help? No, nah, but thanks for the offer. I wish you luck, then. Yes, I do hope he's well. Anyway, I need to go. With a courteous nod, the stranger... Springs into the saddle with the dexterity of an experienced rider and glides and gallops off into the distance, leaving only a trail of dust behind. The road is calling. Let's see what's out there. Enemies are nearby. Oh, my God. 
See if I have any buff of this. <laughs> Provides a brief burst of energy. This refreshing drink will grant a modest performance increase in combat. Alright, then let's use it. That's one dead, at least. That's two dead. Switch weapons here. Good. Clearing through these guys pretty good now. Hiding claws. Do it. I'd like to use some of this hide to even just make myself a little bit of armor. Dead cow. I'll at least get some beef out of it. No problem. Map transaction. I don't need that. Let's see what this sign says. Travel to the west gate, travel to the coast bath, walk away.
time for exploration. Let's go talk to these barbarians and see what's up with them. Yeah, that innkeeper might have given me some useful information, but I didn't like the shady dealings that he was putting forth. I see more ways that could go wrong than go well. Let's see what's out there. Count on me. CRPG rules save often. So what are we fighting this time? Can't tell they're too far away. Wolves again. through these things pretty well. Alright. Time for exploration. I wonder if these dead animals have been hunted by these wolves, or if they've been left here by somebody to attract the wolves. Looks 
since it's not really the wolf's way to drag food back to the den, they generally track it down and eat it where the where it's not where it falls. Who are these guys? Hmm. I would say he looks like he's in charge. I guess right. Barbarian leader. The hair suit fellow watches you through narrow eyes beneath bushy furrowed brows. Perhaps he's waiting for you to speak first. Fiona whispers, this must be the leader of the barbarians that the local head told you about. Be on your guard around him. <laughs> now, since he just decided to stare at me and did not speak when I approach, I'm thinking that might be... A cultural tradition with them to have a bit of a steering contest first, so I'm going to do that back. From the knitted brows, you glean that he's puzzled by your appearance in his camp rather than angry or annoyed. Well, I guess I have to go for it then. Hello, I came to talk. Zagar the Z Zagar Samat Silkuin Uganan San Truk immediately fell quiet as he addresses you. Warm tear slews again. What do you want? The villagers complained that you're harassing them. You condemn a bee chasing a honey eater and proclaim it to be cruel, but the bird's beak is drenched in its stolen honey. Oh wait, this is all very confusing. You don't know what I'm talking about? No, but I do want to help you. Know then that we are hunting how you say a rat that cracks the acorn out of hunger. Not a rat that cracks the acorn not out of hunger, but to see the tree weep, a slayer of our holy man who escaped justice and hid in his village. One of the locals is harboring this uh, schizopatoon, of that I am certain. What can you tell me about the killer? Very little. Our people found him roaming aimlessly on the mountainside. He fell at their feet, wounded and exhausted. Out of pity, they carried him to our village like a mother carries her young in a papoose and straight to the client's healer. I see. The Ring of Elders sent us to track down this mad dog, for the man he killed was well liked. The trail led to this village. But the locals refused to let us in. Can you help us? Find the man we seek and convince him to come out. I'll see what I can do. Good luck to you, likewise. Let's see what's out there. Hmm. 
I think I'm going to check the church in the village in the next episode. But I think once my party gets over here by the bridge, I'm going to call this episode to a close. And there we are. Thank you very much for watching.